It was bound to happen. I just didn't think it was gonna happen to me the first day I flew my DJI FPV drone. I spent most of the day out and about in freezing cold weather filming about my DJI FPV drone for all of those who might be on the fence wondering if the DJI FPV is something they should jump into because they've been playing around with the Mini 2 or the Air. And I, I got this huge list of questions to be answered in that video, but this is not that video. While I was home editing that, I took a break and put a fourth battery pack into my drone. I wanted to see how good the connection actually was with OcuSync 3 just flying from my backyard. Because normally with OcuSync 2, I get a little breakup when I fly to this one spot because the house sort of gets in the way. I was amazed at how well the connection was, how solid the connection was, and I just, I got a little sidetracked, a little carried away, and wasn't paying attention. So I thought I could go through this crash footage with you, watch it together, put my picture down there below as we watch it, and sort of tell you what exactly happened so you guys can realize that even in sports mode, normal mode, you can screw up and crash these things. The obstacle avoidance in this, even active in the normal mode, doesn't actually stop your drone. You can see I just took off from my deck like I do with all my other drones at pretty much any given time when I'm out there just trying to get a quick flight in, just to get a little air time. I'm not really doing anything crazy. I'm just going out and sort of testing to see how the signal is from my backyard. It's pretty cool because in the summer, this area I'm flying over is like a wetlands, sort of a marshy area. That right down there is a small lake. Um, I am kicked into sports mode now. You can hear it buzzing a lot louder. And I'm headed over towards that mountain peak. I've actually snowboarded down that before with my Mavic Air original, trying to get the tracking mode to work. Didn't work very well. So I went over those power lines. By here, I'm usually getting some breakup with OcuSync 2. It was crystal clear, absolutely crystal clear. Here's the fun part. I'm thinking I'm going to just buzz over the top, hit it to the side, you know, angle it like this. And then I realized, oh crap, I'm close to the ground, and I kick it the other way. But because of the speeds, <laughs> because of the speeds, that's what happened. Well, let me rewind that and show it to you again. Coming over the top, banking it so I can get that nice sort of sweeping motion. Realize, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, nope, nope, nope. <sighs> it was not a good day. Where that is, is up probably a good another 500 or so feet from where I was. I'm already starting at 9,200 feet and now hiking up to there and the sun was setting. We have a crazy snowstorm coming. So if I did not get this prior to the sun going down and the snow getting in here, it was going to be buried. I did a mad run across the neighborhood to the base of that peak and started climbing that hill as fast as I could power walking trying to do a live stream at the same time. I live way down over there, way past that, and I'm out of breath, because I'm hiking way over that. I had a good idea where it was. You really want to have spatial awareness when you fly any kind of FPV drone. Well, hell, with any drone, you want to have spatial awareness. And this is a great example why. With the DJI goggles, you can set it up to record on the actual SD card in the goggles as well as on the drone also and I had it set to both. Since I was aware of where it basically was because I've climbed that many times before watching the replay of the goggles view and I could see that it was between two trees that I had a general idea of where they were. <sighs> I know I gotta get close. Where are those two damn trees at? Found those trees and lo and behold there it was. Whoo! I am. I can't believe I found it. Gimbal seems okay. Okay, whoever said this thing's a fragile little puppy? Wrong. It looked like there was a little crater around it, and it turns out the crater wasn't all caused by meltage. Ha 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 ha! It's like in a crater. There was a spot where it laid 
where the body and the internals had melted the snow. It formed like a little ice bean bag that it was just laying in. The props had dusted all the snow and torn up all the grass around it. And let me show you what that looked like frame by frame. So as I started banking to go to the left and yawing at the same time and realizing that it was just cutting in too fast, I kicked it the other way. Right there you can see the angle of it just changed drastically. And what I really should have done at this point was given it full throttle up to give it a higher ground clearance so it didn't hit anything. But as we keep moving forward, you'll notice it's not actually gonna hit the ground first. It hits this taller bush. It hits the bush and cuts the bush to shreds, turning over upside down, throwing stuff in the air, you can see little bits and pieces of grass. And then as it comes down, you can see that it's about to hit a little grass spot covered in snow. And it nails that, continues to run as it starts to throw snow up everywhere, cut the grass into shreds. <laughs> and just, it's like a weed whacker. When people say these things are like a weed whacker, look at this. This is like a weed whacker. Look how many pieces of grass are flying up. Look at that. It just flies right up into the air, and that's not it. It just keeps tearing things to shreds. I can't even imagine this one hitting a person. We would basically just be a blood bag getting cut and thrown around like all kinds of little pieces of flesh flipping around like this grass and weeds, and that's it. Now, the camera kept recording. My goggles at this point couldn't see anything. Let me show you what I actually saw in my viewpoint on the goggles. So as I'm coming around, and this is in full motion again. It's coming around and right here I try to correct it and it turns off. I'm not sure if that's due to a loss of signal because at that point it instantly went black and said signal lost. I'm not sure if I could have saved it even if I didn't lose that. Either which way I screwed up. And these things are going 60 something miles per hour even in sports mode it takes longer to stop. If you make a mistake like this, even with the air brake, even doing everything you can to stop it, it just doesn't stop fast enough to avoid something like this. I got incredibly lucky because mine is in one piece. I don't have a stress fracture. None of the props were bent. There was a couple of scuffs, a little bit of dirt marks on the props, and that was it. Everything seems to work. I haven't actually put props on. I've flown it again yet, but everything seems to be working on my initial test. Now, one of the interesting things I found was that it just kept recording and recording and recording until I actually found it. And when I find it, you can hear that the mic, the internal mic that records the props is very muted. So I think that's something it's been made to do so that the props aren't so loud and all in your face from having a microphone. Camera's got some snow in it. I'm gonna get the battery off. I will get that video that I was working on with the Mini and the FPV drone hopefully up over the weekend. And I have quite a few other videos I am working with prior to kicking it into manual mode, which makes it fly completely different. We have that crazy snowstorm coming, and a lot of you like my extreme weather test, so we're probably gonna throw this thing out in sports mode and see how well it does in the snow. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification, because that one, you really don't wanna miss. If you guys have any questions about the DJI FPV drone, things that you wanna know about that well, I've got lists everywhere, but let me know in the comments below because I do actually write your comments down when there's something that I can do in a video with those comments. And if you guys enjoyed watching this crash footage, remember to share it in all the places that you like to share your drone content because sharing is caring and that is how you make the channel grow. And if you really want to help support the channel, check out the Etsy store linked below where I have stickers, drone t-shirts, like this atomic drone skull listed so that you can sport your very own atomic drone skull. And remember, I am working on some original eyes and other things for the goggles and to put on your drones. Thanks again, everyone, and have a wonderful, wonderful crash-free day.